three, two. Hey, I'm Candace. What do you know about the quads? Well, honestly, I don't know much, but Laura Lee does, and she's gonna show us all about it today with her myotherapy. You know, the quadriceps have a lot to do with hip pain. Ooh. Yeah, and a lot of people are hippies these days. Because of, not because of hippie and cool and because you're close to nature, but because their hips hurt them. And working on the quadriceps and working on the low back, we just did a video on low back pain, how to do myotherapy. M-Y-O, therapy means muscle, and therapy means to heal. So we work with trigger points and passive stretches to get the muscles going back into the directions we need them to go instead of that contracted spasm state. And when we're, our muscles are in spasm, it takes a lot of energy for the muscles to hold spasm. So when you let all the spasm go by getting rid of the trigger points and doing the passive stretches, what we show you in these videos, you'll have a lot more energy to play and do fun things and hobbies and stuff instead of using it to hold spasm. Anyway, we worked on the gluteal muscles and we went up to about the bra strap and then we worked on the abdominal muscles. Now we're going to go to the quadriceps, which is your thigh um, your thigh muscle. So what you can do is you can put a towel underneath her knees. Go ahead and lie down if you want to. And I'm just going to start, there's a line in the, right in the middle, and then there's two lines on the side. So I'm going to show you how to um, use your elbow to work on the quadriceps. Now there could be support. Go ahead, let's, we have a stage hand over here that's going to show us a towel. Throw it, throw it or gently roll it or something. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's gently rolling it. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, cool. Anyway, so you would just prop underneath your knees so then it doesn't have that extended kind of feeling. Or you can use your hand underneath. So I'm going to um, cup my hand with my elbow and show you how you do that. And the reason why you want to do that, she's going to tell me on a scale of one to three, one is pressure, two is a sensation, and three is pain. We're looking for trigger points, so we want to find number two, which is a sensation without pain. If she says three, I'm going to back off. If she says one, I'm going to press harder, but what we're doing is looking for a two. Now I have my elbow on her muscle, I'm going straight down, and sometimes these muscles are slippery, they push you off because they go into spasm right underneath your pressure. So you can cup it with your other hand so then you don't have that falling off feeling. So I'm just doing one straight up, and I'm holding it for seven seconds is what the other videos told you, and that's the same on this one, seven seconds but I'm not gonna hold it for seven seconds for demonstration purposes. But what you wanna do is align up the middle, and then you wanna go align on the side, and you curve as the body curves. You're holding these for seven seconds. And then you can come around the table, and then you work on the inside. So I'd be around the table working on that side, but for demonstration purposes, this is how you would do it. So it's more leverage instead of you struggling like that. You're doing this instead. So normally I would walk around the table, but I don't want to put my back towards you. <laughs> so anyway, so I'm doing three lines, one in the middle, two on the side, and then on the lower leg, you use the tibia or this bone right here, and you work, I would be, again, I would be working like this, because why not use leverage and gravity, but for demonstrations, I'm just going to show you, you use the tibia, you're going to press in right off of the tibia, and you're going to hold it for seven seconds. Guys, yeah. <laughs> go team. Woo. And then I'm, I'm just going to go along using the bone all the way down, all the way down, all the way down. And it spreads out on your toes. So you go in between your toes, but that's another video called the foot video. <laughs> and then this one, so you went out along the um, tibia, you're going to go off just about a, a half an inch or an inch, depending on how buff you are or how what's going on with this muscle. And you're going to hold it for the seven seconds. That is the shin splitting muscle. So if anyone has shin splints, this is the muscle you want to work out. Okay, so now I'd like you to lie on your um, on your left side with your back toward me this way. And we are going to go ahead and demonstrate the leg, um, uh, how to do the leg muscles, but for the, on, the next, on the next video we're going to continue. So we're going to cut right here because I we need to get something else to wear so you're not flashing the camera. So anyway, love life, and I will love you back. Bye -bye Check now. out the description. We have a lot of really cool things to give you. Try this stuff. Grab a tool. Grab someone's elbow. Grab your thumb. Yeah, click on links. Click on links. Know, know how to do this stuff. It's, if you're a sport person or anything like that, if you use your muscles, which we all do, um, my therapy is the way to go. So thanks a lot. Bye-bye for now.